and we're rolling. What's going on, y'all? Good to see you. Welcome to a vlog. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to discuss something that some people may not understand. Honestly, it's kind of a weird concept in my mind, and I wanted to try to get it out. Um, oh, chat's going. This isn't live. <laughs> um, so let me start at the beginning. When I was a kid, I was a huge Michael Jackson fan. Recently, I did a video about Britney Spears, Pop Princess. Um, now I want to talk about the King of Pop. And in relation, um, the way major celebrities can be viewed from certain people. So let me lay it out for you. When I was a kid, uh, there was a Michael Jackson's Michael Jackson um, some sort of aid concert on TV. People were going nuts for him. I was listening to the music, loving him, grooving. Um, and I learned at an early age, music can have um, an impact on a person. I mean, it, it. In relation to that, I mean, think about how many times you your favorite song comes on. And you just start moving, man. I mean, just, or head banging or, you know, whatever it might get you to do bodily movement wise. I mean, you feel it, you know, it's just, it's in you and you just, you feel the beat and your groove and whatever. Um, it just comes over you, you know, because you're enjoying it so much. It feels good. There's a rhythm, you know. There are, of course, a few people that, um, and, and I don't mean this in a negative way, but they're incapable of feeling rhythm. Um, I've known a couple of people like that and they've, they told me, uh, I just don't really dance because I don't really understand music a whole lot. You know, um, I, it took me a while to grasp what they were saying. It's just, it's a mental thing. You know, they're just not built that way. So that doesn't make them any different from us, but it's just, you know, who they are, how they are, um, at the base of their build. Anyway, I was watching this concert and uh, my grandmother comes in. My grandmother was hardcore uh, religious uh, pastor's wife. And she sees them watching this. I'm staying over. I think I forget why I'm over at her house. But I'm watching this because it comes on TV. They were watching Unsolved Mysteries, which I used to love watching as a kid. Um, and then we were flipping through channels and it came on. Uh, they had left and they came back and I was watching it. My grandmother comes over, turns it off and says... Quit listening, basically, quit listening to the devil's music. That man is a demon compulsing people to reach out for him. She, she, before she turns it off, she sees, do you see these people reaching out for him? Do you see them wanting to grab him and, you know, get close to him? That is demonic. That is demonic energy and so on and so forth. Anyway, um, and you know, for, as a kid, I'm prone to believe some of this stuff. Um, and I'm not going to get into the whole religious factor here, but what I want to get to is how um, musical drive, musical impulse and energy uh, can grab people. Even even um, being starstruck can grab people. Um, I mean, you got to think about it, especially somebody like Michael Jackson. This guy impacted billions of people. Um, had such a positive energy for a long time before stuff turned a little sour um, due to legal reasons and whatnot, uh, the rumors and all this and that. But despite all that, his music impacted billions of people. And you'll never convince me otherwise. Um, he was truly the king of pop. You know, led a, led a, uh, led a life that was full of uh, drama, trauma, uh, fantasy. I mean, this this guy. You know, he was robbed of his childhood, and he lived out his childhood um, as a as an older man, uh, getting older. Uh, he was trying to relive what he could. You know, he built Neverland. It did all this and that. So, um, but he impacted people. And when you are at a concert, and let's say you're in first, third, freestanding row, closest to the stage, and this man that's been in your head that has spoke to you through musical lyrics, through musical movement, through musical um, rhythm for years, let's say. And you're at his concert. You're seeing this guy perform or gal perform live, this band perform live. And it means so much to you that you want to get closer to it because this source of positivity, this source of... Uh, unspeakable um, good and, you know, just a bit of a lift um, 
you want to get closer to it, whether that's a person or a song, a band, whatever it might be. Because throughout life, music, at least for me, and I know it's this way for other people, music um, is a part of me. Uh, and background-wise, you know, I grew up, despite my childhood trauma, uh, I grew up around a very musical uh, upbringing. I mean, singers, musicians, um, you know, all kinds of stuff. And uh, now, personally, I'm, I'm I'm a bit of the black sheep. I don't know how to play anything. I can't play any kind of instrument. I can play guitar a little bit, but it's just like meow, 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 you know. Um, and I can't I can't read sheet music. I can't write sheet music. Uh, I know a little bit about music theory, but that's about it. But it's it's a part of who I am to feel a good rhythm, to feel a good song, and go along with it. You know, to feel that energy and that just. <laughs> A wave of something you can appreciate and love um, in audio form. Now imagine that it's right in front of you, this source, and you just want to, you know, you kind of want to reach out and kind of grab it and just touch the garment or whatever, you know, <laughs> rush, bum rush the stage or whatnot. Um, it's such an overwhelming thing sometimes, and people can mistake it. For something very negative because they don't understand it and yet and yet i will say this my grandmother being christian and being religious as she was if you've ever been to church especially a southern church and you've ever seen anybody fall out in the aisles that my friends is an energy that in ways is a rhythm because you feel something sometimes it's faked i'm going to say that straight up sometimes it's faked people just want attention but there are moments when you feel it as a group, as a people, as a congregation of people, that there is something in the room that o overtakes you and it's positive and it feels great. You know, um, it's the same thing with music. It is the same thing with music. I know I might get some um, lashback on this because some people are very stout in their faith. I get it. But to me, to me. It is a very similar situation to be overwhelmed by great music, great musician, great whatever it may mean to you, um, as opposed to what it may mean to somebody that's in a congregation and people feel an energy within that room. Or, um, you know, if you're uh, celebrating somebody's life at a gathering or if you're at a party and the vibe is going great, it's built within our humanity to want to feel that good in a community, especially, uh, again, at a concert where the people, very like-minded people with a similar, obviously, interest or love for this band, this musician, this um, entertainer, whatever it may be, you get that energy built up and it's mental energy that's being sent out like vibe waves. And you feel it, man, and it feels good. I'm getting I'm getting hair just talking about it, but, um, you know, I have a playlist on Spotify that helps lift me up and it helps just... Um, empower me in a lot of ways uh it's music that i can groove to that i have my own thing for and we all we all have a playlist you know mine mine varies big time um i'm all over the place but michael jackson is definitely there are days i'll, I'll listen to him uh and i just you know i think about the man i think about what he went through and um it's just a very positive thing for me for other people not so much and i get that uh but um there's you know there's Katy Perry as well. There's Disturbed. There's uh, Lincoln Park. There's uh, Mike Shinoda. Um, uh, you know Green Day. Just just to name some. There's plenty of them in my in my genre. Uh, Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. It's <laughs> a hell of a name, huh? Um, Evanescence from time to time. You know, uh, one I one that I've really gotten into lately is um, in in this moment. A great band. Um, I listen to old school Sum 41 back in my day. Um, you know, 80s stuff even. A lot of 80s tours in my playlist. And in this music, there's an energy. There is an energy to music that just makes us groove and makes us forget, even if momentarily, about the rough things we go through from day to day. And uh, people need that. People need that. There's nothing evil about that. There's nothing bad about that. Um, so don't, don't, you know, don't ever let somebody tell you that listening to a certain type of music or listening to a certain band or, uh, liking a favorite show or, um, uh, 
anime, movie, whatever, is evil, is, you know, negative, is you shouldn't be doing that, all this and that. Look, whatever empowers you, unless somebody's being hurt, whatever empowers you, whatever makes you feel good, go for it. Don't let the world turn it around on you and say, that's evil, that's negative. Because people try to do that. And as a kid, you know, I I wish I would have had the knowledge of the time and just look at my grandmother and tell her, Grandma, I love you and I see where you're coming from. But much like your source of strength and upliftment, this is mine. This is where I feel good. This is where I want to be in this moment. Uh, and I would, I, I, again, I love you, but I would really appreciate you not taking this away from me. You know, so... That is um, it's just a bit of a reflection and a bit of some thoughts I wanted to share about uh, music and um, you know feeling good, whoever you listen to. Uh, again, TV shows, movies, books, whatever it may be, media-wise. Um, if it helps you get through the day, if it helps you live your life and go on, uh, it provides, again, empowerment, strength, whatever. helps you feel good. It's good for you, and keep doing it. Again, if nobody's being hurt, um, we all have our thing. Enjoy your thing. <laughs> Giggity. Um, but anyway, a bit of a ramble video, kind of long, a little longer than I like. But um, I just want to say I, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate every musician and band and uh, celebrity out there that puts out a positive vibe in their music, uh, a real vibe with their music, you know, talking about the real shit in life and... Um, um, you know, just relating to their their fan base, their people, helping them get through their everyday life. That's what these people are. Despite whatever drama they may go through in real life, despite whatever, even if they're a total dick in real life, if their craft helps you, go for it. That's all that matters. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, stay safe, stay sane. Remember, you're awesome. Never let the world tell you otherwise. I've done a lot of recording and streaming today. I'm staying up late. I'll probably do some more. So we'll see. See you later. Peace.